So, like a lot of you, I'm a huge fan of cinema. And since Berlin is such a diverse city, it is often used not only as Berlin, but other cities and other countries. So, I figured today it would be really fun and interesting to go out and hunt down some of those filming locations. And if you see the world clock behind me, you already know the first film and first location that I'm talking about, and that is from the Jason Bourne series, Bourne Supremacy. Now, one of the most pivotal scenes of that entire movie is when Jason goes to meet up with Nikki. And if you know the city, then you know that we're in Alexanderplatz. So right now, we are at another location from Jason Bourne. And when we were in the first location at, at Alexander Platz, that was obviously Berlin, but the movie is sort of all over Europe. And so in this location, they use it as a Eastern European country. Uh, but in fact, we're still at Berlin. This is where Krill gets notified in the nightclub that he in fact failed to kill Jason Bourne from the beginning of the film. So he leaves the club and heads back to Berlin to uh, try to kill him again. But as we all know, uh, we're still in Berlin. So I wanted to show you this location. This location is really cool because one of the more beautiful uh, movie theaters or kinos is located here. It's one of our favorite kinos. And they actually, behind me, this little area here is actually the nightclub that they said he was. And as he walks out of the nightclub, you can see the Kino International in the background. And this movie theater usually only plays one movie at a time and they feature usually just one movie. So I wanted to show you the location. I'll check it out. That is the Kino International right there. And so we, I'll show you the shot from the movie. So if you want to come visit, you can. The first location was pretty obvious because Berlin was playing Berlin in Born Supremacy. But these next few aren't gonna be quite so obvious. So I'm gonna ask you to pause the video here if you want to, and you comment below what other movie locations we're gonna be visiting next. So, okay, did you comment below? I wanna see how many of you guys get the locations correctly. We're on our way now to get a coffee mm -hmm. because Berlin is massive and so sprawled out that this video is gonna take two, three, four, five hours to film maybe. So just a quick little coffee break and then we'll be off to our next spot. We just got our coffee and lucky for us, it's also the second movie on this little movies location tour. And if you know the movie well, then you'll know that that is the famous location from Inglorious Bastards. Uh, it is Cafe Einstein. It is a very old and very traditional cafe. And though we couldn't sit in the exact room because they had a little private function, you can request to sit in that area. And this is the scene where she's sort of having a lunch and then uh, the main adversary, the main bad guy, uh, sits down and sort of confronts her and sort of lets her know that uh, he knows. Christoph Waltz is, is the main guy who plays the bad guy and he plays that scene so well and he orders the strudels, which we also did. And what did you think about the strudels? So good. So amazing. So if you've seen that movie and you want to come to the same place where they were having the apple strudels, they also have a cherry strudel, go there. It's really awesome. And now we're off to the next spot. So we are at our next location and this is a pretty fun location. It's from the show Dark, if anyone has seen it. Super popular show on Netflix. I wanted to include movies and, and shows and 
This is a very famous series that's filmed all in and around Germany in general. So we're gonna try to get into the shot that is uh, pretty recognizable from the show. So it's actually closed today, so we're gonna have to be a little bit sneaky, but let's not tell anybody and uh, hopefully we can get the shot. All right, so we are at our next location and this was an exciting one for me because I'm a huge Marvel fan and a epic scene was shot at this location and that is from Captain America Civil War. And not only was that movie shot here, but this has been used in so many movies. Mockingjay was shot in one of these areas. Uh, Born Supremacy had a, had a scene in this area. Atomic Blonde had a scene in this area. And the interesting thing about it is it's actually closed now. Mm -hmm. Like there is no access to public. It used to be a giant Congress conference center, but they had to shut it down. Um, and now it's sort of abandoned, which is interesting. They do open it up sometimes for some art galas. But otherwise, it just sits empty, which is a shame because it's actually quite interesting and beautiful. But I'll show you the original shot that I wanted. There's no access to it to the public, but this is what it looks like. Not sure if you guys can tell what this scene would be from, but this is the area and this is the movie. So that was the epic sequence when Bucky was uh, trying to get away from um, the Black Panther. And it was the first time you could see Chadwick Boseman as the Black Panther. So that was incredibly, incredibly epic. So exciting. I really wish we could go down there, but it's fully blocked off. But we're going to head over to a different spot where I think is also cool. That involves that exact same scene. So we have made it to our final location and we saved it for last because it is one of our all time favorite spots in Berlin and it is from Queen's Gambit, which is one of our favorite limited series. And I thought this place would be really cool to showcase later in the day. It's been a very long day, but uh, the cool thing about this location is that they actually used it as Paris. Mm -hmm. And it's when she heads to Paris for the Parisian tournament. But the very intro to that entire sequence, right after the drone flight, is where we are about to show you. So that is pretty much it for the video. As you can tell, <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been about six hours. The sun is already setting. For someone who loves film as much as I do and a big nerd, that was so cool to see all those different locations so i've already put up all the tags and if you're like me and you want to visit those locations totally doable we did it by transit and i think that is the best way because then you don't have to try to find parking mm -hmm. so much fun but so much work so if you like the video don't forget to thumbs up it really helps out and subscribe mm -hmm. for more videos like this and we're going on a big adventure soon so hopefully uh, we can share some interesting stuff that would be helpful to you as well. So, 
that is pretty much it for tonight. And as always, live passionately and stay inspired.